Einstein's journey through quantum mechanics, a tale of genius, skepticism, and unfinished dreams. Albert Einstein is best known for his theory of relativity, but his connection to quantum mechanics is equally fascinating, though it left him with a sense of unresolved discontent. While Einstein contributed to the foundation of quantum theory, he later stood in stark opposition to the way it evolved, battling against its principles until the very end of his life. The photoelectric pioneer Einstein's journey into quantum mechanics began in 1905, during his Annus Mirabilis, or Miracle Year. Among his groundbreaking papers was one on the photoelectric effect. This work wasn't just revolutionary, it earned him a Nobel Prize in 1921. In it, Einstein proposed that light, rather than behaving solely as a wave, could also behave like a particle, a quantum of energy we now call a photon. This radical idea helped explain phenomena that classical physics couldn't, setting the stage for quantum theory as a whole. Yet, despite laying the groundwork, Einstein soon became uncomfortable with where quantum theory was headed. Quantum mechanics takes shape. By the mid-1920s, quantum mechanics had grown into something far more unsettling for Einstein. Leading physicists like Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg had developed a new version of quantum theory that focused on probabilities rather than certainties. This new approach suggested that the world at its most fundamental level was governed by randomness. Particles didn't have exact positions or speeds until they were observed. Instead, they existed in a blur of probabilities and only when measured did they snap into a definite state. This randomness struck at the core of Einstein's beliefs. For a man who prized order and determinism, the notion that nature could be so inherently chaotic was unsettling. In one of his most famous remarks, Einstein declared, God does not play dice with the universe. He believed the apparent randomness of quantum mechanics wasn't fundamental, but merely a reflection of the theory's incompleteness. There had to be a deeper, underlying order hidden from view. The Great Debates Bohr versus Einstein Einstein didn't just keep these thoughts to himself. His skepticism sparked a series of famous debates with Niels Bohr. These debates, spanning the late 1920s and early 1930s, weren't mere intellectual exercises. They were a clash of worldviews. On one side was Bohr, who accepted quantum mechanics and predictability as part of nature's core fabric. On the other was Einstein, firmly rooted in the belief that the universe had to be governed by strict, deterministic laws. Their debates were not just about physics, but about the very nature of reality. Bohr defended the Copenhagen interpretation, which argued that we could only speak of probabilities in quantum mechanics until a measurement was made. Einstein countered with thought experiments that sought to expose flaws in this interpretation. These exchanges shaped the future of quantum mechanics, though Einstein would never be fully convinced. The EPR Paradox – A Challenge to Quantum Theory In 1935, Einstein, along with colleagues Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, launched a new argument against quantum mechanics in what became known as the EPR Paradox the idea stemmed from quantum entanglement, a strange phenomenon where two particles become linked even when separated by vast distances. According to the theory, measuring one particle could instantly reveal information about the other, no matter how far apart they were. Einstein found this troubling. His theory of relativity stated that nothing, not even information, could travel faster than light. Yet, Quantum entanglement seemed to suggest that changes to one particle could affect the other instantaneously, an idea Einstein called spooky action at a distance. This defied everything he believed about how the universe should work. Through the EPR paradox, Einstein and his colleagues argued that quantum mechanics must be incomplete. They believed there had to be hidden variables, unknown factors that would provide a clearer, 
deterministic explanation for the mysterious behavior of entangled particles. Bell's theorem, the universe plays dice after all. For years, the EPA paradox remained unresolved. But in 1964, nearly a decade after Einstein's death, physicist John Bell took Einstein's challenge further. Bell devised a mathematical inequality, now known as Bell's theorem, that tested the hidden variables Einstein had hoped for. If these hidden variables existed, Bell argued, they would create certain correlations between entangled particles. However, experiments designed to test this theorem showed that the predictions of quantum mechanics, with all its randomness, violated Bell's inequality. In simple terms, Bell's theorem proved that if quantum mechanics is correct, then entangled particles must interact instantaneously, even when separated by vast distances. The universe, it seemed, was even stranger than Einstein had imagined. His quest for hidden variables came up short, and the reality he envisioned, a predictable, ordered one, slipped further from view. A unified dream, Einstein's final pursuit. Though Einstein spent many years grappling with quantum mechanics, he had another, grander vision that consumed him in his later life, a unified field theory. After his success with general relativity, Einstein sought to create a theory that would combine gravitation and electromagnetism, two of the fundamental forces of nature, into one overarching framework. In 1950, Einstein published an article in Scientific American outlining his vision. He believed that, by unifying these forces, he could unlock the most fundamental laws of nature and provide a more complete understanding of the universe. Yet, this endeavor proved elusive. Einstein's theory didn't account for the strong and weak nuclear forces, which were still poorly understood during his lifetime. As a result, his unified field theory was left incomplete. Despite this, Einstein's pursuit of a theory of everything inspired generations of physicists who continue to search for the ultimate laws of the cosmos. The legacy of Einstein's struggle, Albert Einstein's skepticism of quantum mechanics and his unrelenting pursuit of deeper truths left an indelible mark on the world of physics. His debates with Bohr and the EP a paradox spurred decades of research that continue to shape our understanding of quantum reality. Though Einstein never found the deterministic answers he sought, his challenges forced quantum theory to evolve into what it is today. And while his dream of a unified theory remained unrealized, the questions he asked about the nature of reality, the forces governing the universe, and the limits of human understanding remain as important as ever. Einstein's genius wasn't just in solving problems, but in asking the right questions, ones that would inspire countless others to look deeper into the mysteries of the universe. <laughs>